This is the Toys R Us exclusive Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Movie White Ranger Edition Power Morpher, a part of the ever-growing Legacy Collection. Here is the front of the package. Here is the back of the package. Here is a look of the contents within the box. And here is a picture of someone's tooth during a root canal operation. Included with this piece are a set of instructions, a white holster to match the movie appearance, two exclusive power coins non-weathered, and the power morpher itself decked out in chrome with die-cast plates. To begin, activate the switch on the back of your power morpher to the on setting. Open up the plates and insert one of the exclusive power coins into the directed slot. Next, close back the plates to your power morpher and press the action button on the side to activate the lights and sounds function. To insert another power coin, simply press the Z button on the back of your morpher to release the first coin inserted for demonstration. Take the second power coin in your hand and insert it into your power morpher as demonstrated here in the video. To insert your power morpher into the supplied holster, make sure that the morpher lines up properly with the open cavity and apply direct force to lock your power morpher in place. Removing the power morpher from the holster is as easy as reversing the last step. Here is the Legacy Power Morpher compared with the Legacy Power Morpher. Here is the Legacy Power Morpher also compared with the Legacy Power Morpher. And if that is not enough of a comparison, here is the Legacy Power Morpher compared to Transformers Robots in Disguise Scourge. NOT NEMESIS PRIME! Overall, the Legacy Power Morpher White Ranger Movie Edition is a sure bet to end up as a shelf warmer for main collectors who already owned the previous Legacy Power Morpher. With the same light up gimmick and sound features as the previous model, this Power Morpher is nothing more but a cheap way for Bandai America to continue rubbing the MMPR franchise in our faces for another few years to follow. The only pro that comes to mind is that it features an exclusive Falcon coin that was never seen in the movie outside of Tommy's Ranger costume at the near end of the film. However, is it enough to keep the consumers asking for more Legacy Power Morphers in the future? I guess only time will tell, really. This consumer, on the other hand, has both the original Legacy and Gold Edition Power Morphers that even he's saying that is all that was ever needed. Anyway, thanks for watching this review, and this is Red X saying if you haven't already, please like the video, share it, and leave some feedback down below. And if you would like to see more reviews very similar to the one that you just got done viewing, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Red X reviews of epic proportions. Until then, see you next time. Got die cast right here. So, it's pretty much extra die cast onto this set which the Megazord cannot support. Titanus comes with these clips. There's already one assembled right here which I just knocked over the Megazord. I really shouldn't have taken that off.